All right, so this is a logic review, and if you are in my Math 100, this is uh, test number three review. Um, question said, let's draw a logical conclusion here. Okay, so um, the form, if you look at the form of this argument, uh, either Mr. Cook or Mr. Gross taught our class on Wednesday, so P or Q, right, P being Mr. Cook, uh, taught our class on Wednesday, and Q being Mr. Gross taught our class on Wednesday. Um, not P is the um, second premise, so therefore, therefore what? Uh, since P or Q, and when we say or, we mean this, that, or both, right? So if it's not P, then it must be Q. So um, logically, I would say, um, Mr. Cook did not teach our class on Wednesday, therefore, uh, Mr. Gross taught our class, right? So, now, let actually prove that this is a valid form. So, in order to prove that that is a valid form, we need to build a truth table for the statement that said premise one um, and premise two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write down premise one and premise two will lead to our conclusion Q, okay? So let's show that that's valid. P and Q are your two simple statements. So you have P you have Q, and then we would want to do P or Q, and then next we would say not P, because that's the order of which we are operating, and then we will say P or Q, and not P, and then lastly we would say P or Q, and not P, then Q. And we want to see if it's a tautology. So um, here is our truth table. And we have true, 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 false, false, true, and then false, false. Or means this, that, or both. So as long as one true value in there, the statement is true. Otherwise, it's false. Not P is the opposite of P. So false, false true, true, and um, now we are going to combine the two statements together and uh, with the statement and with the connector n. So true and false would be false, true and false would be false, true and true is true, and then tr false and true is false, okay? And lastly, we're gonna go from here to q. So uh, false imply anything is going to be true. False imply anything is going to be true. However, if we see true, then we better see true here for the conditional statement to be true, which it is. And then false imply anything is true. So this is a tautology. Therefore, the argument is valid and we have a valid um, a logical conclusion so that is how we um, show that we did concluded the um, argument logically meaning we did have a valid argument with that conclusion and that is number 13 and number 14 is asking um, is it sound well since it's valid we then need to know um, if the premises are true are the premises true um, the in in your case really if you were in my class um, this is false and this is also false because Neither one of those guys taught your class on Wednesday. So um, this is a valid argument, but it is not sound to you. 
uh, if you were in my class. Now, if you were in um, Mr. Gross um, or Mr. Colt's class, then you may actually um, be having a sound argument. Um, but the point is, in order for an argument to be sound, first, it has to be valid in form, and then premises need to be true for it to be sound.